Silver Vaults is the fifth full-length album from Sacramento, California-based black death metal band, uh, Mine and Werfer. And this is a, a band that I see from my, my own particular perspective that, you know, you could just liken it to something like Angel Corpse and Marduk and move on. But uh, this style that they've developed not so seriously to start, and then more seriously once the full-length hit, uh, started qu quite a while ago, and uh, from an, a former member of Lycus who uh, was approaching black metal from a, a chaotic, aggressive way, which has always been more or less in the style of, like I said, a certain uh, breaking point for Marduk, uh, and uh, kind of the chaotic tradition of certain mid to late 90s black metal bands like Need and Div 187, War, and uh, t to some degree Samath. Uh, we could, this would still appeal to someone who likes a band like Catharsis or, or, or whatnot, uh, but it is more chaotic in a lot of ways and, uh, not necessarily focused on, uh, punctive riffs, but, uh, aggressive freewheeling, uh, movement between black and death metal rhythms. And it is decidedly black metal, depending on the album you're listening to. In most cases, this is very much a black metal band with that is brutally aggressive. But um, let's step into a clip of a song right here so you at least know where I'm coming from with this very referential description. So if you're already a fan and you're looking for a, uh, a follow-up to their most uh, recent and so far most popular album, Alpenpass, uh, this is not that. That was a very dramatic um, uh, storyteller of an album. It was very atmospheric. It was uh, almost triumphal. It was a really interesting stage in the band's uh Uber that that I think found a, either a new member joining or maybe more of the songwriting shared, whatever it was, uh, it changed entirely the focus of the band after some time, and now this this album refocuses just on the brutality of it all, the the aggression of it all, and, and for good reason, depending on how you see the the theme of this album, which is. Uh, very specific in its depiction of a very long uh, military campaign during World War One, and I won't get into the history too much. I do recommend some, like just a documentary to watch because it is interesting if you're interested in uh, first-hand accounts from people you would know if you're interested in classic literature and in World War One, which was a very important thing that uh, is still relevant today. So. Um, the thing with this album is you can say that it definitely isn't a follow-up to Open Pass, other than being the next one, but it did inherit a lot of those skills and things learned along the way, which amount to stronger melodic touches, justifying the Need and Div 187 uh, comparison a little bit, and uh, also sticking with that sort of uh, chaotic early Swedish war metal feeling which uh, runs through this thing pretty strong from my point of view. Uh, it's it's really not as tuneful, fun, or interesting as, as the, the last record is, but I like this side of the band. I do think it reprises some of the uh, just more violence and aggression and riffs in general that the first two albums definitely had, but hadn't quite perfected before they moved on. And now uh, here I feel like they've made good on the early promise of the band, even if you didn't like the demos, even if they didn't like the demos. There was a, a seed of something there that exists now here, and uh, it's a pretty long involved album, which goes by pretty fast, just by how effective it is in telling its story and attacking it. So I enjoyed it quite a bit, and uh, definitely give it more of a moderately high recommendation because I know this is a noisome niche sort of release. Uh, you know, it's not exactly Panzer Division Marduk in terms of its broader appeal, but it does have a, a lot of things that, that that kind of fan would like, and there's also just things that war metal fans would enjoy too. So for a broad audience, it's more of a moderate recommendation. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more detail in the review to check out. So read that, listen to this. There you go. <laughs> 